hi this is sherry veronica someone bought some kind of roadie from shafet they're in barbados and it came with this huge they call it a bot fly and they put it on social media i'll let you hear it shafet barbados no one pissed off the minister so you know that one on full blast i went into shafet oysters and i bought a roti while eating the roti every time i take a bite i always look at my food and I noticed this black thing inside the roti. So I was like, what the hell is these? When I pull a piece of it, it turned out to be a big cow fly. Oh, Going cool. back in Chafet restaurant and the manager can tell me that she know for a fact no flies in in Chafet restaurant. How would I really mean? She offered me all kind of thing and I just decided to take a refund and I am no longer shopping with Chafet. Okay, she offered me all kind of thing. What, what, what was it all kind of thing? Because... If someone's offer you something to, you know, to to stop a situation from escalating, you know, they're trying to, you know, mitigate damages. What's so wrong with that? What is so wrong with that? Okay, but this is a part two. Part two. Let me play this part two. Now, I really want to get into what the manager really told me. This manager had the nerve to say that she know for a fact Chafet Kitchen don't have a place. I said to her, if you look at these flies, you could see that they were cooked in the roti mixture. Like the, the mixture of the roti was all over the fly. I had to stop she because I was being very calm and very respectful. And I did not even raise my voice in Chafet. So when I know that minister would have had to change. After the hogwash of shite that she told me, I've, de I've decided that I'm no longer buying anything from Chafet. Okay. I mean... Okay, let, let's talk about this. Okay, the person who works at Shafet, she's denying that they have that sort of fly, cow fly in the, in the cooking area. Okay, denial is something that happens and you should expect it. Or oh, it's never happened before. You, you hear that a lot. Oh, it has never happened before. You have to expect things like that. But she did say that the manager offered her some compensation maybe another roadie maybe you know some fries to go with it hey some some a drink to go with it there are really some concessions that can be made to make a cust a customer happy but obviously this one didn't want to be happy she calls herself minister minister bougie to cheap anyhow um yeah she didn't she, th there's nothing you can do to stop someone who's unhappy from being unhappy I, let me put it that way now i'm not saying that you want to bite into any sort of food and see any sort of animal cooked in there that you didn't you, you didn't buy it you don't want it in there you, know, you don't want flies and you don't want you know worms you don't want that kind of stuff in your food but if the manager after you've complained they're willing to make some concessions say, well, here, we'll do this. We'll offer you this. You know, let's try to, you know, like calm, calm, calm this thing down and, and not have it escalate to be a social media or blog. You know, you don't want that to happen. But she did. This person, she did. She did. And with food, buying f even at your house, you have to keep your eyes on things. At your home, you have to keep your eyes on things. And if you ever, 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 ever use salt fish as something that you eat, I don't know where those flies come from. You can cook steak, you can do chicken, you can do turkey, you can cook all kinds of stuff and everything is fine. If you put salt fish on the stove and it starts to cook, the, the flies come out of the earth. They come out of the ether. They come, they come from invisible to visible. The flies show up for certain things. They just show up. So you have to keep your eyes on your food. And, you know, I'm not saying anything. I'm not taking it for sure fat, but it's a big, it's a big production and, and stuff happens. And I think that you have to, I think that people should be considerate enough to know that when you eat out, you just, you have to do your Hail Marys, do your Hail Marys. You, you just never know. And sometimes you can see that fly, but if someone ha has dirty hands, go to the bathroom and don't wash or whatever, they have dirty, you, you don't see that. <laughs> you don't see that. Okay. So yeah, pick your wars, man. Pick, pick, pick your, your wars carefully. Okay. This is Sherry Veronica.